As we take a look around the shop on today's Performance TV, we see a lot of shiny vehicles with paint, plastic, chrome, leather, all treated from one bottle. Then we take cover under the latest in racing accessories, take aim at a tough new bell housing, and take a moment to sweep the floor clean. All next. Welcome to Performance TV. We love our cars and spend a lot of time cleaning them and maintaining them, like this awesome pony car, the Ford Mustang, or these really cool Harley Davidson motorcycles. When you go out on the weekend, you want to look great. Even your work truck, it represents you. You want it to be top notch. Well, Scott is here from Top Coat, going to show us a great way to clean and maintain our vehicles. Scott, tell us a little bit about your company. Well, Topcoat is a really unique product. Um, what's nice about the Topcoat products, and F11 in particular, is that it's the very first multi-use, multi-application coating on the market. Literally, we're, you can do anything with this product, as I'm going to demonstrate. So here, over here, we'll do some plastic, glass, and some of this paint, and uh, just demonstrate just how easy this is. Show us what you got, and I immediately take notice to the fact we're using the same product on all these surfaces. Absolutely. So it's literally as simple as this, just a quick spray. You don't need a lot of the product. And of course, you always want great microfiber towels like ours that are, have been designed to do just this. But you spray and you start buffing with your very first microfiber towel, of course, right? Well then, you always want to take and follow up with your dry microfiber towel, do your final buff. Because what you want to do is you want to push that sealer, you know, because it is an actual sealer, into the pericity of that substrate. That's going to allow it to cure better, it's going to allow your reflectivity, and also your enhancements of all of these different materials. So literally, we just went from paint to plastics, now we're working on glass. The beauty with the glass is extremely hydrophobic properties. So, you know, you're going down the street, you're going to notice how fast that, the, the water just, you know, zips right off of that windshield. Uh, and all glass for that matter. But you're enhancing everything too as you go. So it just makes it so very versatile and easy. I can't begin to stress to you just how easy this product is. You know, we all work. You know, time is really important today in, in our society. And you want to achieve those professional results, obviously, but we don't have the time. Well, Topcoat will allow that to happen. Well, I can see a difference already. I'm already thinking about less products and bottles in my cabinet. This kind of cool on this F-150. Let's kick it over to Kathy to find out with one of the motorcycles. F-11 can be used absolutely anywhere on anything. And Jay, especially here on the bike, you know, start off right with the windshield. The F-11 product is going to make a big difference, and it's not going to yellow like some other products may make a windshield. Exactly, it's gonna create a easy release surface on the windshield, releasing bugs, dirt, and debris easier. Absolutely, and we can also use it on a dark paint like this, man, it's really gonna make a big difference. Yes, f 11 is gonna polish, seal, and protect. It's gonna increase the depth of image. Right. It really makes the metallic pop out of that. Yeah, it makes it look like you can dive in and go for a swim. It's exactly. just, it really deepens it. After 24 hours, it, it'll get even a richer gloss shine. And what about our footboards? It will rejuvenate all that rubber and make it look nearly new again. You know, and a lot of times people will have so many different products they're using. Like, got to get this to do the chrome. Got to get this to do the, the black stuff, which we don't have to worry about anywhere where this product goes because it's not leaving any type of white residue. Exactly. We can use it on anything. Boy, this is going to save a lot of time on detailing and more time for riding. I like this. Exactly. You're going to use it on your all chrome, your engine, all your emblems, your decals, even your leather. It'll make the leather right more right. subtle. To the saddlebag. Polish, seal, and protect it. You're going to polish this. all your ornamental leather at the same time. Look at this. Check this out. Look at the line that we can see right there makes a whole big difference. Now when we come over here to our newer bike, Jay, what about the spokes? It works great on the spokes, even the wheel, and even your tire for that matter. You gotta remember this product is water-based, no VOCs, it's eco-friendly, and uh, you know what, Jay? This bike has the denim paint on it, which is a really popular paint right now. Can we use this on Top that? Road is one of the only products you can use on those denim finishes. It will not increase the shine, only given its natural luster. Wow, you can use this product on anything you see on this bike, cutting down on your detail time, more time to ride, and more time to have fun. And you know what? Joe is gonna show us how you can take this product and use it on the inside of your vehicle. 
Mike is also in the house here from Top Coat. Mike, we're moving on to some other materials on our convertible Mustang. That's right. Not only does F11 work on the paint and plastic, it'll work on rubber and also convertible tops. It looks great. Now, cars come with a lot of plastic aerodynamic pieces like this Mustang down low. Plastic we've already treated and we can see the difference. We did. We pre-treated this just to show the difference. But if you open the door and look at how this dirty mess down here, the plastic is just like hammered. It's like it's really dirty. So you literally can take F11, spray right over this, even this Mustang emblem, including the paint too, and wipe all this clean. And not only will it clean it, it will protect it, it'll encapsulate that dirt, making it easy to remove. It'll protect it and restore it back to brand new looking. Now that's counterintuitive in that there was dirt on there. You didn't wipe the dirt off before you applied the F11. Right. When you spray F11 onto dirt in a surface, it encapsulates the dirt and it's microscopic, gets between the dirt and the surface and makes it where the dirt will not adhere. Makes it easy to, to wipe right off. We already did the cowl that worked out great. A lot of great stuff. I'm blown away. Tell us where we can find out more. You can find out more at our website at topcoat.tv. Dot TV. That is very important. Thank you guys for coming in. Blows my mind. One product, so many different materials. For more Performance TV, stick around. We'll be back after this. TV is brought to you by Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by rockauto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. Welcome back to Performance TV. So much in the car field came from an initial military application. Think about all racing, a and fittings. They were surplus. Well, that continues to this day. Glenn is here from Air Shelter, gonna tell us a little bit about the car pod. Tell us how this first started out. These air shelters were used by the military, by the emergency services, by security forces, and have been for about 30 years throughout the world. But these units, uh, also used in the motorsport business in Europe and other parts of the world, but we're introducing it here to the United States with, uh, with the air shelter that you see here, which is called a car pod. Car pod. It looks very cool. Obviously, it is designed to shelter your car while you're at the track. And I can think, having been in the many pit area myself, this is going to keep you out of the rain. It's going to give you a little privacy. And it looks like you can logo it up as well. I know racers here in North America are going to love that. Yeah, these are detachable, so they simply detach off. So you can have any design that you, you want, your race team, your uh, logo on here, or in fact, you can actually have uh, your design over the entire car pod itself. So we can change what you see here, the red and the white, to a particular design. So you can have the whole thing. Now it's obviously filled with air, air shelter, but the way you fill it with air is different on this one. No continuous air. No, these car pods do not require any air other than the initial inflation. It takes about two minutes. Once it's inflated, detach the inflator and it will stay up for days without any further air being added to it. And we see some methods to secure it to the ground. If you're at the track, that is very cool. But what we're going to do is go inside and see some of the construction because that's where it's really at. I'll tell you what, Glenn, this car pod is really substantial. What's it made out of? Uh, this is made of the same material uh, that they make Zodiac boats out of. So it's very hard wearing, very durable, 40 mils thickness. So extremely tough. And it actually forms the, the most in, important aspect of these car pods, of these air shelters, is because all the air is in, contained with just this sealed beam structure. So everything that you see is in black, it contains the air. Everything else attaches to the, to the skeleton. So you've got this outside polyester material on, that is fire retardant and waterproof and then you've got the, the uh, ground sheet that also detaches. That's also fireproof and water resistant as well. Both come off and if you were to damage it you could replace it but we do supply a, uh, a repair kit for small repairs too. Okay, so we got a polyurethane structure, we got polyester walls, and we've got privacy windows. So if we want to stay at the track or hide our speed secrets, yep. which that's what this is all about, yep. 
Yep. You can roll down the windows. Yep. But those are also available in mesh. That's correct, yep. If you didn't want the plastic windows, you can have the mesh as a, uh, an option as well. Going back to the sealed beam structure, the, uh, the valves are over there in the corner. There's a red safety valve for overinflation. But uh, this will stay up in the summertime for many days without needing any further air. Once it's inflated after two minutes, it will stay up like this. That is cool. So that valve prevents us from overinflating, or if something were to happen, that valve will pop before we cut it. Now, if we had to repair it, you guys offer a kit. Yep, yep. We've uh, got that uh, kit that uh, uh, mainly is for this part, the sealed beam area, because all the air is, is in here. So if it was to be caught with a knife, uh, it would obviously go down eventually so we have a, a, a repair kit for that. Very cool. Now I also notice some hooks throughout. Is that for lights? Is that for tools? Yep. Yeah, these are these hooks here. You can hang lights, small tools, strip lighting uh, just to give a bit more illumination. The, the white roof that you see uh, also uh, helps that tremendously. Um, also keeps it cooler in the summertime. Very cool, and I can imagine we could seal ourselves in here if we wanted to air condition in the summer or heat in the winter. You never know what the conditions are going to be at the track. That could be a good idea. Correct. Yeah, these doors just roll down, they zip down, and then we can have a duct in for air conditioning, for heating, that can keep this either warm or, or cold. And the floor is fire retardant. It is, yes. Yeah, so hot oil out of sumps fall on this. I'm not going to damage it. Simply wipes off. It's, it's uh, just beads off. Well, I think it is great, and I love the idea it can be personalized so your race team or your sponsor can be represented. You can be at the track working and getting the job done. It is the Air Shelter. It gets the job done. It is your home away from home at the racetrack, and of course, military technology adapted for racing. Hit the website to find out more information. I love it. Stick around. We'll have more Performance TV after this. TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. You know those lights in your driver information center? Well, they're not just there to entertain you. If you see one of them going off, it's your vehicle trying to tell you something. And on our Jeep, well, we noticed that we've got some lights. What we have here is like a scanner, a scan tool, and you can get one of those for about 80 bucks. So we've got it hooked up. We're going to go ahead and as soon as it selects the vehicle, we can push this and see what is going on with our Jeep. Now, starting in 1996, all vehicles sold in the United States had to have an OBD2 reader. They all have to be compliant so you can get your onboard diagnostics and we select the vehicle. This one's been giving us a brake issue, so hopefully it's something that we can find the code for get it figured out and be able to fix it ourselves. And now that we are getting into the system, we're going to press the ABS button on this particular unit and see what kind of code it pulls up for us. Hopefully it's just like a wheel sensor or something like that and we can change that out ourselves. And sure enough, as the scanner shows, that is our issue and now we can get it taken care of. Diesel conversions are becoming more and more popular. Chad is here from Quick Draw Brand, going to tell us a little bit about some of his products. Chad, what are you seeing out there in the industry? It's pretty crazy. For the past 10 years, I've been selling used diesel engines, and now people are putting these things in anything from a power wagon, an FJ40, Toyota Land Cruiser variants, uh, Jeep Wranglers, anything you can think of, they're swapping these into. So engine transmission combinations all over the board, but they have to link up, and that's what you've solved. That's correct, yep. I've put together a series of bell housings, anything from a vintage World War II engine all the way to the new Cummins 2.8, and it'll allow you to link short wheelbase vehicles, rat rods, resto rods, anything you'd like to build. So it is, a, it is obviously a very beefy bell housing. Tell us a little bit about some of the combinations that are out there that people are wanting to link together. Yeah, sure. Uh, for example, the green engine I've got sitting over there, that's a, a Detroit two-stroke. So that would have been World War II up to 1995. And guys will take and put that into an old Dodge Power Wagon, you know, an F100 pickup truck, anything they want to do to just build a unique truck to take to the shows. Uh, the problem with that is we couldn't get a transmission underneath the transmission tunnel to make it all fit. So I've modernized it with a, an NV4500 out of a Dodge pickup truck to make it work. So now you've got overdrive, the transmission's not as big and it's not as heavy. So it, it solves the problem. 
On the other side of the spectrum, folks at Cummins have got a very popular engine that everybody wants to use in like flat rods and it is a short wheelbase combination that kind of trips people up. You've solved that problem as well. Yeah, the neat part about the 2.8 is it's actually small and lightweight. So you can put it in a number of vehicles and it still has the torque to pull them. So a Jeep Wrangler, an FJ40, a Defender, Land Rover, any kind of vehicle that otherwise had a short wheelbase, my bell housing solve a problem. They actually make the drive line shorter, making the drive shaft longer. So you can fit it into a Bronco from 1978, whereas otherwise it wouldn't fit or you'd just be running a front wheel drive because the rear drive shaft would be at an 80 degree angle. Now, reliable, modern power with a transmission of your choice. And we're seeing these engines kind of run across manufacturers. The Cummings ends up inside uh, Fords and Chevrolets as much as Dodges nowadays. They sure do. Yep, guys are putting it in literally everything. Uh, and, and the nice part about the older style SAE adapters is you can put this in front of any engine you'd like to. So if you have an international DT-466, uh, an air-cooled Deutsch, any kind of oddball engine you picked up out of Grandpa's barn, you can now put it into your truck, Jeep, whatever, and run it. Now these things look very substantial. Let's uh, talk about the casting process. Right here in the United States of America, I think that is great. Yep. And uh, you have actually made it literally bulletproof. Yeah, yeah, we've taken uh, a double lot 12 gauge to it and lit those things up, even uh, some slugs, and it, it does not penetrate it, you know, just bulletproof. And uh, what are some of the other reasons why this is a better way to go? I understand that the flywheel that comes with the power plant can actually be used. Yeah, yeah, so in, in an attempt to make this all short, what I've done is I've taken the factory flywheel and designed from that. So the bell housing, if you were to compare it, this here would be a, a Toyota F, uh, H42 series transmission. If you were to take the factory bell housing and put this against it, it would actually be longer than mine. So I'm bringing the transmission forward again in an attempt to make the drive line longer, the, the drive shaft longer. So that, that's the whole advantage here is making it fit and not have your U-joints wear out in 20,000 miles. And it's more drivability. Now the casting process uh, happening here in the good old US of A, but you're not just limiting to bell housings. Of course, you've got the bell housing. From yep. what I understand, they're ready to ship. So people who are watching the show, if you want one, you can get one like right now. That's correct. Yep, we ship uh, next day. Depending on, w with the Cummins 2.8, what we're actually doing, since we're utilizing the factory flywheels, I've got it a couple different price points. So if you want to send me your flywheel, it will actually be cheaper than me sending out a flywheel because I'll machine it and send it back to you. Uh, so the attempt in this is to try to keep the cost down, sell volume, and have a good product. You know, that, that was the, the main goal on all this. We got valve covers if you want to show off your Cummins and your Chevrolet or your Ford, but also power steering pump mounts cleans up underneath the hood. Yes, yeah, correct. So what this is doing, if you're converting your Ford or Chevy pickup truck to a 24 valve Cummins, a 12 valve Cummins, a 4BT Cummins, this power steering pump alleviates the alternative option, which is a factory Dodge power steering pump with a vacuum pump on it that always leaks. This shortens it up, cleans up the engine bay, allows you to run hydro boost. There's a number of advantages to it. Very cool. Now, what do you think is going on with this uh, diesel conversion? Why do so many people want to run diesels these days? I know they're a lot of fun. They make a lot of power and torque. Well, yeah. Yeah, they're efficient on fuel. They're fun to drive. When you go to a car show, you're one of the few guys there with an actual diesel power plant. It just, it's fun, you know, different culture. Well, I love what you've got going. I love the fact that it's made in the United States. It's bulletproof. It shows, it goes. It is great stuff. You can hit the website, quickdrawbrand.com. Remember, they can ship today. That is a great benefit. Chad, thank you so much. We'll be back with more Performance TV after this. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt, proudly made in the USA. Go to stage8.com. Checkered flag tire beads, tires and balance beads to your door. Innovation Performance Technologies, racing to innovate. And by Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. All you restoration guys and machine shop owners, listen up. We all know rust is the enemy. In fact, we hate it. And of course, we've got some parts here that are covered in rust, and we're going to do our best to clean them up. Well, Paul is here from Rust Release. Paul is coming from a different industry altogether with a new technology. Paul, where are you coming from? Uh, well, I've been selling this product to many tube and pipe manufacturing companies to de-rust their bars and pipes in-house so they don't have to send them out for sandblasting or pickling. And it's typically half the price of sandblasting and pickling. 
So that's what I'm bringing to the automotive industry. The only other industry that hates rust more than the pipe guys, sure. I'm sure. And you're not just offering an opportunity to de-rust parts and pieces at home. You're offering an entrepreneurial opportunity, maybe for those shop guys. They got a corner right. and uh, maybe can make a little money from their customers who need rust removed. Exactly. Now there's a lot of rust uh, removers out there. Why is rust release new and better? It seems to work a lot faster and it lasts a lot longer than other products on the market, but it's also safe. Safe is very important. What about plastics? You know, there's parts that it's half metal, half plastic. Okay, it does not hurt plastic. It doesn't affect paint. Now, over here on our torque converter, boy, this thing is pretty nasty, but the gel seems to be going right into it. Should we have a look? Yeah, why not? Let's see. We've got our little Scotch-Brite pad, and immediately, it's like rocking a little bit. We can start to see just seconds, it's already cutting into the rust. Absolutely. I typically put just a little bit more on here and give that about another minute or so and the rust should be completely gone. Well, I can't wait. We're going to tackle some big parts and see exactly how they turn out. These parts were rusty and almost unsalvageable, but just hours in the tank, Paul, let me tell you, I am very impressed. The pedal set, this was what I was most excited to see because we've got the very dramatic look there. This is exactly what we're talking about. People with shops, all of a sudden they've got something that's ready to go back in the car. Absolutely. Just remember to take the items out when the rust is gone and you're going to be able to clean hundreds and hundreds of items with this rust release. It's really an amazing product. The results speak for themselves. But hey, this is not all you have at rustrelease.com. No, we also have a product called Oil Terminator, and this product just absorbs eight times more oil than oil dry. It is very cost effective and it's going to work great in job shops and machine shops. Yeah, you did a really cool demonstration with some oil on our shop floor here at Performance TV. First, standard oil dry, basically kitty litter, and then the Oil Terminator. You can see immediately the Oil Terminator really soaks in, whereas the standard stuff just kind of spreads the oil around. The Terminator, look at that. Absorbing it, cleaning it, much easier to dispose of, whereas the standard stuff, just garbage, frankly. What are you going to do with that? Let's oil terminate the rest of it. Very cool product. Hit the website if you want to find out more information at rustrelease.com. If you have a product you'd like to see featured here on our show, email sponsors at masterstv.com. We'll see you next week right here on Performance TV.